Now, if some of you guys have been living under a rock like I have been, uh, Shadow Life 2 got deleted and rebranded into Shindo Life recently. And I know I usually make content on JoJo games, but I thought I should talk about this because I wanted to get my opinion out there, so I will. Now, I believe there are benefits and, you know, downsides to it being taken down and re-uploaded things, so I'm gonna go over that. And I thought I would talk about my opinion with that as well, so let's do that. Uh, before we begin though, uh, my opinion's at the end, so don't harass me for that. Uh, I'm just gonna go over some of uh, my thoughts on it. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, anyways, uh, for some benefits, um, this will most likely uh, not. This probably won't be the end of games being banned like this. Now, Viz Media is like you know going for all these like they're taking down. This is I believe this will be just the start. Uh, Shadow Life Two is going to be the first game like these taken down. I believe the next games will be like anime games, games involving copyright. As Roblox wants to be taken more seriously as a platform, so they would they don't want to be you know the one platform known for blatantly ripping off copyright. And I can see many games like these, like Your Bizarre Adventure, Anime Fighting Simulator, um, any of these anime games or copyrighted games being taken down in the future. You might think it's a bad thing, but but it can be interpreted that way, you know. So you can interpret it as oh no, my favorite game is being deleted. Or you can, it also can be a good thing, as Roblox had a lower chance of getting, like, lawsuits. Like, for example, Pokemon Brick Bronze, uh, when that game was up, Pokemon was going to, you know, sue unless Roblox took them down. Now, this, with all these copyrighted games being deleted, this gives us a far greater chance of Roblox as a company not losing millions or hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. Uh, that could be going into better updates or making the website a better place. It's going to ensure that, it will definitely ensure the website safety. And I believe that is far better than having a few games being deleted. Uh, for some downsides, a lot of people play these anime games. Like a pretty big portion of Roblox do play anime games. So a large majority of Roblox players might leave the site. But um, this could be really, really bad for the Roblox player base. But I don't think many of them will because there are a lot of other great games on Roblox. That's just me. Maybe they will all leave. I don't know. I can't really, you know, say that's going to happen. But maybe. And another example would be a lot of these developers would lose months or years of progress on these games that, don't get me wrong, I think these games are really well made, some of them at least, are really well made and they are incredible. But, I don't like these games very much, but that doesn't mean some of them can't be great. Uh, now gamers, just so you guys know, we're getting to my opinion, so don't shit on me because I, you know, we disagree. Uh, basically, I believe this can, I believe the Shinobi Light 2 being deleted, it's not fully deleted now as Shindo Life is back. As it was rebranded with Shindo Life, but I think this can be a relatively good thing in the future. Uh, for example, there's again, uh, more of these games will cause like more original games to be released on Roblox, and this will make Roblox look like a more professional platform, and that could be a great thing for Roblox as a thing, because with these games out of the way, Roblox would seem like more of a professional platform than a game, a, a bunch of, you know, these awful, stupid games on it. Uh, I like I like it when Roblox games are original. I think it's way more fun to like you know dive into games like that. I don't know. That's my opinion. And one of the things, another thing I don't like about these games is that they're incredibly. Most of them are grindy. And from what every game, every anime game I've played for the most part, like ninety percent of them have been just you have to like beat up the crooks, then you get a new power, and then you beat them up for another ten hours, or you grind in a VIP server for eighty eight plus hours. So. That's really annoying to me. That's just my opinion. Yeah, you guys might like grinding. Yeah, sure, that can be fun for you. But for me, it's just boring. Uh, there's really no advantage to getting, you know, poo poo fart stand number 27. That's just me, though. Uh, but anyways, I want you guys to let me know what you guys think of the comments. That would be awesome. Uh, if you have any critiques for this video, let me know in the comments as well. I've been Devin. You've been you. Peace out.